The maritime world of old for its immensity, produced great stories, be it mystical monsters like mermaids and great sea creatures and terrifying storms, but nevertheless, the waters with fluorescent lights are more than legends and they are called milky seas, but you know what is it? So I'll explain it to you. Well, for centuries, sailors discovered when sailing through night waters, milky seas, a phenomenon that leaves the waters in the sea white and very illuminated by a glow that seems supernatural and is a mystery that lasts until today. This phenomenon has only been photographed by special satellites, but it is assumed that sailors encounter this phenomenon sporadically since at least 1600. The great science fiction writer Jules Verne was not so aloof, however, he wrote a scene in his classic novel, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which depicts the underwater Nautilus coming across a glittering sea of milk. Yet years later ships are still reporting strange seas that appear to be, as Verne put it in his book, Lactified, particularly in the Indian Ocean. Then, in 2005, a group of scientists led by Dr. Stephen Miller of the Naval Research Laboratory in Monterey, California, decided to take a closer look at the alleged sailor story. They used data collected from satellite sensors to confirm a Milky Sea event reported in 1995 by a British merchant ship called the SS Lima off the Northwest Indian Ocean. The Doctor Miller and his colleagues used the Defense Meteorological Satellite Program DMSP, and its polar orbiting satellites to detect the supernatural event that Lima's crew described. Satellite images did indeed reveal an area of low light in the Northwest Indian Ocean, about the size of Connecticut, at the date and time recorded by SS Lima. Suddenly, the Milky Sea phenomenon didn't seem like such a tall tale. Once they determined that the Milky Sea was not just the creation of sailors with overactive imaginations, the scientists' task was to find out what was causing it. Do you think we will ever know the whole ocean? Comments below, a curiosity is that only 10% of the ocean and 200 meters of depth have been explored. Well, until today this enigmatic phenomenon cannot be explained, there are few reports and studies on this topic. Some can be found in books about sea adventures, but very few people have actually seen this phenomenon up close. So it is described as legend, but scientists are getting closer to unraveling the mystery of a strange phenomenon, the ocean of milk. It makes seawater deeply fluorescent and milky at night, a rare form of marine bioluminescence. The constant white glow can extend over great distances. As a characteristic, milky seas achieve a long, widespread, uniform glow on the ocean surface that can persist for several nights, and can also extend over 100,000 square kilometers. These works of nature can only be seen only in certain remote areas of the world, being found mainly in the Northwest Indian Ocean, along the coast of the Horn of Africa, also known as South East Africa and sometimes the Somali Peninsula, and in the waters around Indonesia. The difficulty in identifying this phenomenon has to do with the fact that capturing the light produced by the Milky Sea requires patience and ideal conditions. After all, the sea of milk signal can be masked only by the faint moonlight reflected on the surface of the sea. It is difficult to identify the Milky Seas during the day because of the enormous amount of sunlight compared to the faint glow of the ocean, which makes these spots visible again to the satellite only at night. If you like to know about the universe that is our oceans, subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this, because as soon as more news comes out I'll be bringing videos like this. Although there was only a direct sample of the phenomenon, scientists believe that an explanation still to be studied, may be that when populations of luminous bacteria invade in connection with algae and phytoplankton colonies. Phytoplankton for those who do not know are a set of microscopic organisms that float in open water. Unlike typical bioluminescence, bacteria in milky seas can remain lit for days to weeks. However, very little is known about the conditions in which they live. If you liked it and want to know more curiosities, leave your like so I can bring you more curiosities like this. 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.